Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a cross, basically a whirlpool design. And so what happens if you run your dryer and it's making a lot of noise? So this dryer wheel here, right here, is shot. And you can see that a lot of stuff has fallen down here. We've already taken out like five handfuls of stuff. All kinds of stuff in here. And um, so what has happened is it's thrown the barrel off center. And when you throw the barrel off center and keep running it, it tends to break the belt. It's like that. Snapped. And then it also tends to wear the seal out. So if you're drying, you're running your dryer and it's, and it's rumbling and you got lint backed up in here and you got a bad vent, you got a kink in your vent action, then uh, you need to do something about it otherwise you're going to have worse problems as time goes by. Okay, let's take a closer examination of this roller. And I pulled the roller off and basically it came off in like two pieces. This piece here, and that is the bushing, is still on the shaft. And it is, it is rolled on this. So basically, th these two surfaces were not uh, meant to roll on each other. This will wear out and cause problems and get floppy. It's meant to roll on that bushing right there, and that bushing is probably frozen on that shaft. No, it's not frozen on the shaft. It just heated up and basically came loose from that. And so I have a good use one here. Now this is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to have integrity. That's, that metal bushing is supposed to be attached to that roller. Oh, okay, there's a little disclaimer for you. In doubt, contact a professional. This video is for informational purposes only. And so, if your seal is a little bit sloppy, what, what has happened is you can see there's a little keeper that's caused the seal to move. It, it moves back and forth according to the pressure uh, put on the the uh, seal and uh, or the felt and it tends to run in this position and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little piece of wire and I'm going to put it right in here so that that gap is closed off a little bit and I'm going to glue it so that seal stays forward and you can see I put a couple of drops of Teflon lube on it, the, the darker areas. And I'm going to use my favorite glue. It's E6000. It's one of the best glues I've found. To glue a little piece of that wire in there to keep that felt seal up forward so that it rides more evenly on this uh, nylon uh, bushing. And you always want to check your flow always this one needs to be cleaned a little bit around the edges but it's got good flow 